Hello! This is my first video in English uh, and I'm super, super, super nervous. So I am apologize if I'm wrong in any word. I'm trying to speak very calm because when I feel nervous, I um, start to speak very fast. <laughs> so yeah. Hello! How are you? I hope you are doing well. Um, today I have uh, several things to tell you and show you and I will start to tell you that yesterday I visited uh, two libraries, one in the city of Benlo and the other in Beard. The idea of a library in the Netherlands is different from the idea that most people have in Chile, which is why I find it interesting to show you how they are designed in terms of collection and activities. And the library in Benlo has a very nice cafe connected to it. As you can see, the collection is is also very diverse and is also has a lot of space and natural life. I really like that. And the people there, the workers, they are very, very nice. This is the library in Wirt. It's very beautiful and peaceful. When I went there, there were many older people. And what I like about this library is the children and teenagers section because it has a lot of space and also the collection was very, very good. And uh, come back to the present. I also have some books that I want to show you because I've been buying some books. And of course, yeah, I cannot uh, go into the library and or the bookstore and not uh, buy some books. So <laughs> I had uh, five books that I want to show you. Uh, the two first, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start with this one because the, uh, this is a gift from Alberto and it's uh, this graphic novel from uh, Lauren Hulse Anderson, they called it Speak. Actually, this is the same book um, that was made into a movie where Kristen Stewart started and I remember that I have this book or maybe one called uh, Eyes from the same author, but I don't know what happened, but I think the... Um, how do you say that synopsis is very, very interesting. So uh, I start to read this book, but I don't continue because I, because I have a lot of other books that I'm reading. The other books is this one, is uh, Todos los cuentos por Gabriel García Márquez. This is a book from all the short stories from this uh, author I saw on the library and I think that was very interesting because I never been reading any of the short stories of this author so I think it's very nice and I say why not. And the other day I went to the same library, uh, something happened on the Vampire Library in Eindhoven that I always buy some book, but they have this promo, if you buy uh, three books, you get one for free, so of course, I bought, I bought this book. Okay, uh, the first book is Woman, Race and Class from Angela Davis. This book I think is very interesting because one of the topics is a feminist, race, history, historic politics. So I think it's also very interesting and I've never been reading nothing of Angela Davis, so I think it's nice. Um, we always, we have always lived in the castle by Shirley Jackson. I also have never read something about uh, Shirley Jackson. And the last but not least is this one. If B uh, Bill Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. This book uh, was recommended me by Alejandra Magna and Alejandra Inostrosa. They read this book and they found very, very interesting and very good. And when I saw on the library, I took it because I've never read anything about this um, author and I think it's very interesting. I don't know. I, I've been say that the book is interesting in any of this book, in all of this book, sorry, but I think it's, yeah, I don't know what to say because this is a book haul and I don't know 
what happened in the books. So yeah, this is the five new books that I have on my shelf. And now I'm gonna study Dutch. Actually, I'm gonna going to take my lunch because it's 2 p.m. and I feel so hungry. And then I'm gonna study lunch because today is my free day and I'm going to um, study and doing some other things. So yeah. Hello again guys, I have been studying a few hours now but I'm tired and I'm hungry so I will stop. Um, also I want to show you some new books <laughs> uh, that arrived today after I recorded the previous uh, video. So yeah, I'm gonna open uh, and I'm doing a little book haul for you. Uh, I bought these books at uh, World of Books uh, website. I'm going to put my cell phone down so maybe the audio is not the best. Okay, this one is the first. I'm so excited about this one because... Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh my God. It's so nice. Okay, okay, I'm too excited. This is the book. Oh my God, it's so perfect. I love it. Oh my God. Okay, this book is uh, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, but this is the annotated book um, or the special edition. I saw this book on a bookstore like a three months ago actually i showed you in a previously blog and that was very very uh expensive in this way website i only pay 20 uh, um, something like that let me show you yeah i pay 25 pounds for this book and yes 25 and oh my god it's so cheap and the books is so so amazing so beautiful um, in this website, you have uh, three kind of uh, categories from books. You have new books, very good, good, and use it. I think, yeah. Uh, and this, they suppose that they uh, let me. I don't know, but I think this one was was uh, very good. But I think this is new because it's very very nice i want to read this one book uh, because i'm planning some uh, videos about uh, virginia wolf or virginia wolf 
So actually, uh, the other two books that I bought, they own, they also uh, from Virginia. And let me show you the other ones. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, so excited. Okay, okay. The first one is uh, this one, Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Uh, this is the Oxford World Classic Edition. I pay, um, let me see, uh, five, no, four pounds. So it's very, very cheap. I want to read this book from uh, in English now because on um, January I think I'm written in Spanish I actually I have this edition yeah this is my Spanish edition of Orlando but when I start to think about this video that I want to uh, create for you guys I discovered that uh, the Spanish edition at, at least this uh, traduction from um, Jorge Luis Borges has some parts that is not part of the some parts of course uh, some words that is not part of the book so I want to read now in English because yeah I think it's um, essential for the history uh, know what happened really and what was the feelings uh, from Virginia and so yeah I, I'm prepared this book I'm prepared this video sorry uh, because I am really really interested in the, in this book actually in Orlando and the whole history from the book and behind the book I think it's very awesome also also I want to buy one uh, annotated edition from Orlando okay and the next book is this one Vita and Harold from uh, by Nigel, Nigel Nicholson that who is the um, son of uh, Vita I want to read this book because it's also part of my video from uh, Al uh, Alberto Orlando <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm planning this video because I think it's very special for me. I don't know what happened, but now Orlando is one kind of story that I want to uh, reread again because I think it's very important. And when I read the first time, I think I'm not uh, have the time for read um, very slowly. So now I want to read in English and think more about what happened on the history and also uh, because I'm really I'm been reading some uh, articles about the story about the the relationship from Virginia with Vita so for that reason I bought this one Vita and Harold because they suppose that they have a relationship and I think it was very very important yes uh, and apologize for my English again because I'm very excited and I'm done thinking very well in English but I hope you can understand that Hola amorcito Hello Hi, hello <laughs> Alberto Yeah Ik ben uh, drie, no, drie, 31 jaar oud. Ja? ¿Qué vamos a hacer hoy? Vamos a ir al ABC. Vamos a ir también a la embajada a ver al Boris. <risa> vamos a ir a la embajada a buscar mi pasaporte que vence en exactamente un mes. Así que obviamente como un buen chileno hay que renovarlo. Como buen ciudadano en realidad. Esto es un mensaje para todas las personas que tengan país. Que lo son todos. Eh, que renueven su pasaporte y los carneses o el DNI en Chile se llama carnet pero en otra parte no sé si se puede llamar el DNI ya yeah. a ver si me por favor Gracias. que lo renueven siempre <risa> y que tomen agua ¿dónde estamos? llegamos amor <risa> Mira y como están de mal libros. Mal libros. ¿Cuál? Se 
creo por aquí. Que no me acuerdo por aquí. Mira ahí Víctor Hugo. ¿Dónde estamos ahora, amor? En el ABC Específicamente en la cafetería Harar Harar Se llama así porque el caballero <coughs> Es de esa ciudad Que está en Etiopía, creo Sí, creo que sí <risa> Tu cara de ¿Qué hago? ¿Mm? Tu cara de ¿Qué más quieres que haga? Eso, comer Ahí hay un arbolito en medio y tengo estos libros que quiero revisar para ver si me los llevo o no. Este de Terry Pratchett es para niños parece, pero no sé. Y ese, ese me lo quiero llevar sí o sí. Pero vamos a ver. Okay, I'm on my home now, and I want to sh uh, show you what uh, what books I bought in the ABC store. I have a wonderful conversation with uh, one of the men um, uh, who works on the on the bookstore, and he recommended me a lot of books about science fiction and fantasy because I want to read a lot of uh, that genre now. I feel like uh, I want to read a lot of that book, so. The first book who, uh, he recommend me is this one, um, The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett. Uh, I want to read something or, yeah, something about this author. And I always see uh, these books on the library on the, and also on the bookstore, but I never know what, what is the first books that I have to read because this is a huge, huge uh, saga or series. It's a Discord world. And I think this is the first book. I'm gonna read this. The second book is uh, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I know that I asked it about this book and the other one. I don't remember the name, but I think this is, is more my type. I don't know really because I'm not sure also Uh, about this book but I both so <laughs> I'm gonna try to read and if I don't like it I think I'm gonna change for another one and the last book is uh, uh, Yellow Face by Rebecca F. Yu Kwan Kwan we talk about uh, this author a lot with the men on the bookstore because we talking about uh, fantasy or science fiction with another point of view another culture or another tradition so I think this is a good book for a start uh, with the um, author so yeah That's the three books that I bought in the ABC today. I show you a lot of books in this video. This is not normal for me, but I don't know what happened this week that I have a lot of new books, but I'm so excited about everything. So yeah, I, I don't say anything about that. This is the end of the video. If you want to, you can follow me in any of my social media. You have the links down below also. I want to say thank you for 
been here for see the video and for a stay um, in the channel. So yeah, uh, this is my first video in English and I want to continue because I think it's uh, good for me and also good for the channel. So I'm gonna see you on the next video. Bye!